What's up guys, Makai from Total Clips Gaming here, uh, bringing you some more Terraria. So, a couple things. One, I was really annoying in the last video, wasn't I? I'm gonna try not to do that in this video, because even, you know, watching it back for any, like, flaws or anything like that that I needed to edit, I realized how incredibly annoying I was, and I even drove myself a little crazy. <sighs> okay. So... Anyway, last time we got started on this house here, and uh, this time we're going to be trying to finish it up. I'm going to make it tall, I'm not going to make it look, you know, really super nice because I don't care that much right now. Um, what we're going to try and do now is make a furnace. That takes 20 stone, 4 wood, and 3 torches, which I have all that stuff, I guess. Okay, hang on one second. Oh, I need to make a hammer, and a sword, and a bow. All important items. Okay, let's start out my inventory really quick here. And teleport! Huzzah! Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just organized my inventory a little bit. As you can see, it's getting darker. Uh, it's starting to become nighttime, and I'm going to need a roof really bad right now. So we're going to do that really quick. This is not going to be enough wood. Oh, phew. Oh, man, that was really close. That was scary. Okay, now I need to set up some torches. Oops. If you just right-click on a torch, you can actually just pick it up again, which I really like. Oops, okay. I'm going to murder you. Ah. Slime murder time. Yeah. Dead. Okay. I'm gonna try and be a lot more chill because one, I'm tired and I don't have a lot of energy that I can use on talking and commentating, and two, because I don't want to annoy myself or you guys. Okay, so now if we go like. And pick that back up again. And then. One. Peace. Okay. Now let's make the iron bars. So we've got three of those and three copper. And we need to make a floor. Um, okay, that's really gonna bother me. I'm gonna kill these guys. By the way, um, oh sweet, a shackle. Okay, let me explain shackles. Uh, this is gonna, just so you know, this is gonna be kind of like um a tutorial in a way. Okay, so what shackles do is they're dropped by zombies and they give you one defense automatically and if you get uh, some kind of prefix that means that it does an extra thing. For example, warding would have given me plus an extra four defense but I got armored which gives me an extra three so right now I will take less damage. I completely forgot how the armor uh, algorithm works in this game. Uh, I used to know and I'll have to look it up again so that I can understand it for the videos. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What was I doing? You know what I could use? Drink of water. I'm gonna do that as soon as I fix this placement of the workbench because right now it's gonna drive me completely insane. Right there. That's better. Now it's not off center. Oh, OCD. OCD for Minecraft. That's what it does. But yeah, um, money, which is dropped by enemies, is actually used to um, buy things. Once you gather enough coins and you have uh, a room or a house, which uh, has specific requirements, uh, then a new NPC will move in if you meet the criteria that they require in order to live in, in your house. So for example, for the merchant, I need 50 silver coins. I only have 11 right now. That 12. So once I get 50, I'll set up a house and uh, I'll allow him to move in. Alright, we're at 13. We're doing good. Takes a hundred copper coin to make a silver, takes a hundred silver to make a gold, and it takes a hundred gold to make a platinum. And later in the game, I'll be able to set up a great way to make tons and tons and tons of money. 
but that won't be till episode 2 billion, so, you know. I have completed this game a few times. Uh, I've, you know, completed it the full way through. I've done everything in one file, and then I've done... I almost finished it in another with my with Danny. Um, and then, let's see, with, with Ray, I got kind of far. I got pretty far. Hi, will you? Oh, yeah, that's right. I saw you coming up behind me. Why is he on four health already? Have I been hurting him without even knowing it? So, night is generally just a good time to collect some money, because, you know, if you need it in the day, you just get it now and then get that over with. I had some arrows right now, that'd be great. Boom. Yeah, later in the game, arrows and bows and arrows become a much better uh, weapon because of just how strong they are. Like repeaters, those are amazing. Um, by the way, uh, if you guys would like, comment and say if you would like us to do some kind of multiplayer Terraria world because, you know, we're not going to know unless you tell us, so tell us if you care. Okay, I'm going to make something to go up here because there's some stuff up here that I could use, like this massive tree that I really need to chop down because I need some wood. There's that. Once I get a stronger axe, chopping down trees will be much less monotonous and boring and won't take as long. There comes a point in this game where trees are like, they just go down really, really fast. Did you stop? Ooh, fallen star. Okay. If you collect 10 fallen stars, which only come at night, uh, you can create a mana crystal. You don't need to be at a workbench or anything like that. But if you consume the mana crystal, it gives you uh, 20 mana. And your maximum mana is, I think, 200. So it's going to take quite a few of those in order to get, you know, the maximum amount. So now that I've remembered that fallen stars are here, I'm going to go look for some. Alright, let's keep going. Oh crap. Okay, I guess I can't make that jump. Ooh, what's down here? Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna explore this. Oh, it's just a little mini cave. That's okay. Pots are always helpful. Give you some helpful items. Yay, what's your healing potion? Yeah, this game's extremely complicated, especially when you first get started. It's so confusing. But, uh, it's also really fun, so it's kind of an easy game to stay with. Once you start making some progress, this just becomes a fun game to play with friends. It's great with friends. In fact, if you've bought this game and you don't know any of our friends that have it, tell them about it. Because it's awesome. Playing multiplayer is... This probably has one of my favorite multiplayers ever. And it's... The multiplayer is kind of confusing. For some reason... I guess developing a good, uh, successful, easy-to-use multiplayer system is really difficult, so... You know, these guys had some problems, too, with Starbound, which, if you haven't heard of that, I'll put the link in the description, uh, is being developed by the same main developer of this game, I believe, Ty. And, uh, they're gonna... I messaged them, and they responded, and they said they're gonna try and make the Starbound multiplayer system as easy and as, as simple as possible, and I sure hope that's true. Okay, let's see if I get Yep. 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 Okay, let's make some more. Yeah. Whoa! I did not see that zombie there. Oh, I'm getting hurt. That's not good. Ow! Freaking. It should be noted zombies can't stand on wooden platforms. These thingies. Uh, they can only stand on stuff that's, like, solid that you can't fall through in general. So, just make a bunch of wooden platforms if you don't want any zombies to come and eat your face off. 
Okay, finally made it over to this side. By the way, this game has an amazing soundtrack. It's incredible. <gasps> Yay! Another one. So right now I'm only at two. That's not very many. I need, you know, like I said, I need ten in order to make a mana crystal. And mana is extremely helpful for fighting bosses and just for fighting enemies in general. Yeah, uh, another difference between this and Minecraft is that there's bosses. Uh, in Minecraft, you know, you've got a couple enemies. You've got your zombie, skeleton, creeper, uh, I guess you could say slimes. I can pretty much name them all off the top of my head. In this game, there's like hundreds of enemies. There's so many of them, it's ridiculous. Oh, God, I think in the 1.1 update, which has been the biggest update to, to date, uh, they made like, I want to say it was like 200 enemies. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself in editing, but it's really awesome. Oh, yes, a snow biome. I totally forgot about these. These are kind of, I guess you could say a rare biome. I haven't gotten many, and it's extremely lucky that I caught one on video, I guess, for me. Oh, that is the sound of a fallen star that I'm going to grab before it becomes daytime. That's two fallen stars that fell in, like, the exact same place. Okay, that's good luck. That's good fortune there. Wow, zombies can jump really high. Yeah, it should be noted, they can also jump higher than six blocks, I believe. Believes, I believe. So, uh, be wary of that. Okay, I just got a regular shackle. I can always just sell that when the merchant comes, which he might do soon. I'm, 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 at, three, blah, blah, blah. I'm at 31 silver coins, so we're going to see how this goes. It's going to be daytime pretty soon here, so... Okay, I'm not going down there because it's going to be a pain in the ass to come back up. So we go this way. Let's just grab the biggest trees I see. Let's do this one. Ah, daytime. That's nice to hear. Now we go back to fighting slimes and easy enemies. And here's the thing, demon eyes will just fly into the sky and never return. When it's daytime, zombies will just try to run in a, a certain direction. You know, there's only two directions to go, so it's not that random, I guess. Um, <coughs> oh yeah, I need a drink of water. I will return, and when I do, my mouse will be here, not here. Okay, gonna go get some water. Alright guys, what's up? I'm back, and I'm about to get eaten by two slimes, so... Now it's much easier for me to talk. Yeah, before my... I was really dry and scratchy, so... So I still have some water. Okay, so we're at 35. Uh, NPCs only move in during the daytime, so if you've completed a criteria, you have to wait until the next day before one will move in. So, let's see here. Here. This will just be helpful any other time I come back here. Of course, there are items that allow you to fly, so, you know, eventually having tunnels and stuff will be completely useless. I'll just be able to fly over everything. Going from having everything to having nothing in this game is a huge jump. In Minecraft, it's like, sure, you maybe you lose a couple diamond things, but in this, it's like, okay, let's see what I can't do. I can't fly. I can't do about a hundred, about, I don't know, maybe... 180 damage per second. I don't. I don't have the best armor in the game. It's crazy. There's lots more armor, which I really like. I like a lot of variety. That's one of the reasons I think I prefer this game over Minecraft. Uh, that's just my opinion, and you know, I'm sure some people like Minecraft way better than this game. I know some people hate this game, and some people. I saw a video where a guy just judged it, but he didn't actually even like play the game. He just kind of started it up and goes, "Okay, first things first. This is a Minecraft ripoff." Like, did he even play the game? Not really. And then for the entire time, he's trying to figure out what the guide does. The guide is an NPC where when you talk to him, he gives you helpful tips. The guide fell down a hole and he's trying to kill him, which you can't do without a certain item. So he's just doing all this stuff and he's jumping around and he's talking about how bad the game is while he's just being a complete idiot and hopping around completing absolutely nothing. I don't even know if he built a house. He just stood in the sand pit with the guide being stuck there and doing nothing. It was a terrible review. 
didn't make sense. He can't judge a game that he hasn't played. So he's just hopping around like a complete moron, saying the game sucks. That just bothers me, because he can't judge this game without playing it. I Even at the beginning, I wasn't sure how great it'd be. Uh, I'd, the reason I bought it was actually because of Tobuscus, and he started playing it, I'm like, oh, this looks kind of fun. And I went and I bought it, it's $10, it's so ridiculously cheap, and this is like the first game that I bought on Steam, I think. I think it was one of the first. But it kept me occupied for a long time, and when it was the only game I had and I didn't have any money, it was enough for me, I, I liked it a lot, it was great fun. Oh look, it's all unorganized again. Great. I'm using the wrong tool. By the way, holding down shift and hovering over whatever you want to mine or uh, place, like if I were to hold down shift and just open air, I'd have a torch out. This can be helpful for when you're going into caves because torch gives off light when you're holding it. So, you can just walk into a cave like this, and then you're, you keep it well lit. And it doesn't run out either, which is great. Okay, so... So, for example, I can just hold down shift and cut this. Oh my god, dang it. I got it eventually. Grab all those torches. I need, need those. Yeah. Yeah, thing about slimes, they don't really give you as much money, which is unfortunate. Okay, so this is kind of a problem. I can't exactly uh, get up there because I can't mine blocks of dirt that have a tree on them. Because hey, that'd be too easy to chop down the tree. So you, you can just do that little thingy that I did there without actually explaining it. Really. <sighs> just do what I did. It's not that hard. Hey, hey, getting up here is harder than I thought. Yeah, it's a lot easier to go places than to come back in this game. So whenever you're about to venture off into some unknown land that's far away from your home, just keep that in mind. Alright, let's see, mining some more wood. Because I don't actually have that much. I want to get a good supply of wood that I won't run out of right away. Plus, I'm going to be mining out the floor, so I'll get a little bit of extra wood from that. And then we'll have to decide what we're going to do first, and that'll probably be setting up some houses for NPCs, or building a mining shaft. Or, as some people call it, a elevator, because it leads straight to the underworld. Literally, there is a biome known as the underworld. It's hell, and it's... I think... I'd say it's about... I'd say it's the hardest biome in the game, I think. No, 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 that's... That's a different one. And I'm not going to spoil what that biome is for you, because that comes at the end of the game. Or after end game. There's, there's, like, there's like two parts to this game. There's normal mode, and then there's hard mode, which you get after beating a certain boss. We'll get to that when it happens, and, uh, you know, if I'm... As long as I'm not as slow as Tobuscus, it won't take me 200 episodes to get there. As much as I love his videos and as and entertaining as he is, he's not very productive when it comes to this game. It took him like 90 episodes, or 20 episodes, to work out what the meteorite does and how to, you know, mine it. I'm just going to check how long this video's been going so far. Okay, so this video has been going for about 20 minutes. I've just been playing and totally not paying attention to the time. So, uh, I'm going to have to uh, record another video and upload it to you guys as soon as I can. So, I'll just get back to the house here, and I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, okay, before I go, there's a pinky in my house. These are rare slime that have a lot of health, and they give you, like, a gold coin. This means that the merchant will move in right away as soon as I make a house. So, we're gonna get rid of you. Yes! Ah, sweet! Okay, so... 
Now I've got a gold coin, and I believe after I build this guy a house, which I'm actually going to do now, um, just the outline, then he'll move in, so... Actually, I won't do that now. I'll do that in the next episode. I'm confusing myself. I'll just see you guys next time. So long.